Hi friends, so today is Tuesday, May 5th, and this is your writing for this week. Now, this week we are going to learn how to summarize. So between today and tomorrow, you're gonna watch the YouTube video, which you're doing now, so awesome job, and then you are gonna get to summarize on your own. So let's go ahead and get started. So today we're gonna learn about a skill called summarizing. So a summary is a shorter version of a longer, more detailed story or article. So it is much shorter because it only contains really super duper important information that's in the text. So this might seem like a new skill to you, but I promise you it's not. You already know how to summarize. I know a lot of you come in and tell me about the movies that you watched. Okay, in fact, you summarize all the time. Let's read this. It says, let's say your dog named Ruggles ran away last night. He was gone for about an hour before anyone noticed he was missing. Your entire family searched, yelled, and whistled until dark, but the dog couldn't be found. Finally, everyone hopped in your van and your mom drove around the neighborhood while everyone watched for any sign of Ruggles. After driving and searching for over an hour, your mom drove back home. Everyone was tired and discouraged. When you arrived back home, there was Ruggles sitting on the back steps waiting to go in the house. Everyone raced out of the van and hugged and kissed Ruggles. Only Ruggles knows the places he visited that night. So what does that story have to do with summarizing? Well, nothing yet, but let's see what happens next. Okay, so think about if that happened to you. You come to school the next day and you tell me about it. This is what you might say. You might say, Miss Tally, my dog ran away last night. We looked all over the neighborhood, and when we got home, he was laying, lying on our steps. Guess what? That was only 23 words. Pretty easy, right? We summarize all the time. We just don't even realize it. Okay, so let's pretend we are going on a six hour hike into the wilderness to go exploring. You want to pack your backpack with the most important items you would need. So now I want you to make a quick little list in your head. You don't have to write it down, but I want you to think about what are some important things that you might decide to put into your backpack? Hmm. Well, if you said water, food, maybe a map, a compass, small tools, those are all things that we might need to pack in our backpack. When you go backpacking, you only pack what you need. Otherwise, your pack will be heavier and difficult to carry, right? Imagine how miserable someone would be if they had to try to carry a picnic table on your hike. It might come in handy, but it's not worth the effort, right? When you summarize, you're deciding what to pack in your backpack. So pretend your summary is your backpack. What we are going to do is we are only going to fill it with the most important information of the story. Okay, we're not going to fill it with any unnecessary things that we don't need. Now, let's go ahead and let's look at the story again. We are going to cross out parts together that we don't need. Okay, so let's go ahead. Ooh. Okay, we're going to go ahead now and do that. All right, so... What are some important things that I do not need? So if I look here, I'm gonna go ahead, oops, I did not mean to do that. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to cross some things off, okay? Let me erase that, so. Let's go ahead. Okay, let's say your dog named Ruggles ran away last night. What is the only important thing in that sentence that I need to keep? Okay, do I need this? Let's say your, does that make sense? Nope, I'm gonna keep dog. Do I need to know what my dog's name was? Is that most important? Nope. Should I keep ran away? Okay, so, so far I have dog ran away. Is that most important things? So remember, we're trying to make it as few words as we can with all the important things. He was gone for about an hour before anyone noticed he was missing. Do I need to add any of that in there? No, that's just unnecessary information, okay? You wouldn't tell me that. Your entire family searched, yelled, whistled until dark, but the dog couldn't be found. So I'm going to say we searched. That's important, right? 
So I'm going to get rid of this, your entire family. I'm going to keep Okay, I'm gonna keep search because I think that's important. Search, do I need to know that we yelled and whistled until the dark and the dog couldn't be found? Do I need to know that? Nope. So, so far, let's see, we have the dog ran away, search. Okay, so the dog ran away, we're searching. Finally, everyone hopped in your van, your mom drove around the neighborhood while everyone watched for any sign of rebels. What is important in here? Where did they search? They searched in the neighborhood. Okay, so I'm gonna keep that word. Okay, that's the rest of that is unnecessary details. After driving and searching for over an hour, your mom drove back home. Everyone was tired and discouraged. Is any of that super important? Nope, I'm gonna get rid of it. That's not important in my summary. When you arrived back home, there was Ruggles sitting on the back steps waiting to go in the house. So what I think is important is there was Ruggles. He was found. Where was he found? On the back steps. Okay. So that's important. Everyone race out of the van and hugged and kissed Ruggles. Do we need to know that? That is definitely not important. Only Ruggles knows the places he visited that night. That's not important to you. So let's see if R is matched up. Dog ran away last night. Do we say that? Yep. Family searched. Oh, we had searched in here. We were close. Neighborhood. Do we have that? Yep. Back home. Ruggles was sitting on the back steps. Good. So that is the way you make it really short and sweet. So you see summary, summarizing is just writing about the main ideas or important parts of a story or an article that you read. So your teacher tries to get you to write more details and add rich, vivid verbs, right? Well, when you write a summary, your teacher is actually encouraging you to write less. How cool is that? Okay, so let's look at this. A summary is a blank version of a story or article. Oh, it's a shorter version. Remember, we're making it shorter. A summary contains more details than the original story or less? Less details. If you said less, you are correct. A well-written summary contains the blank blank of the original story or article. Remember what the story is mostly about? So that would be the main idea. True or false? Highlighting, crossing out words, and taking notes all can be helpful when you write a summary. That is true. We did that together. We went through the words and we crossed them out. True or false? Most kids have never summarized. That's false. You've all told me about your favorite movie, right? True or false? In order to write a meaningful summary, you need to understand the story or article. Yes, that is true. You have to understand what you're reading. You cannot write a summary if you don't understand. So now we're going to go ahead and practice. So today, your job is to be uh, to look at the fishing story, and you're going to come up with a summary, okay? So we're going to go ahead and look at that real quick. So we're going to read it together, and then I want you on your own. You're going to go ahead, and you're going to cross out the unimportant information, and then you're going to write your quick summary right here. As you can see, you don't have that many lines, and it's very small. That is where you will write your information. So let's go ahead and read this together. It's called Gone Fishing. My family and I went fishing at Lake Michigan last summer. We fished off a pier, which goes way out into the lake. While my sister and I got our poles ready, my dad decided that he, will, he would teach my mom how to fish. He showed her how the rod and reel worked and attached a lure on her line. She practiced casting the line in the water a few times, and my dad told her to just reel in the line slow. She said she was ready to fish and thanked my dad. Well, guess what? About two minutes later, my mom started screaming, and her pole was bent like an upside-down U. My dad told my mom to just stay calm and reel in the line slowly. After about 10 minutes of struggling, my mom pulled a, in a huge salmon. Everyone on the pier clapped for her. She laughed and told my dad that fishing is easy. So now you're going to do your job for today and tomorrow is you're going to go ahead and you're going to write the summary. You need to cross out the most important information because remember, we want to go ahead and keep our backpack light. All right, my friends, go ahead and reach out. If you need any help, I'm here to help you.